What is up guys, the Allfather here, bringing you another war recap, and this will be a pretty short one I believe. I uh, just wanted to go through a couple of attacks that stood out in particular to me for certain reasons. As you can see, 59 to 45 was the final score here, one short of perfection, uh, just one Town Hall 10 on the top of the war map that was not three starred. So great job to everybody there, taking care of business, three starring everything from two down. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the attacks, starting with the attack on the number four base. And what we're going to see here is a Go Wee Wee with a Quad Quake. And a couple of reasons why I like that combination as far as looking at this base and laying out. You're going to see the Quake spell go right in here. And what that's going to do is open up the entire base, the core. Um, and after he gets that Quad Quake in, the only defensive compartments that are completely walled in that can't be walked straight into are going to be this Expo and this back little section here with the cannons in the mortar and so uh, with the go wee wee is really nice because once you open all that up the golems the skellies everything can just walk around the entire base without having to beat on walls and just move from structure to structure and defense to defense without much uh, of anything in the way and so I really like that approach to it let's go ahead and take a look at how he executes this attack Goes ahead and drops a couple giants there to get the lure. Gets the balloons and dragons out of the clan castle. And there's the quad quake you can see. Opens everything up right to the queen. Notice he did it on the queen side to access her. Uh, so very wise in doing that. Creates a nice whiz funnel there. Gets everything going to the middle. Golems are on the outside, but they'll redirect once this wall pops. And now everything's going right where he wants it, right towards the core. Just a ton of witches there, tons of skellies. And the heroes kind of take a detour and go around the outside. But the witches and wizards fortunately follow those golems. And that's going to provide a tremendous meat shield for them. And those skellies and witches under rage in the core just take out the town hall in record time. Queen finally comes around. She snipes out that expo and some of those remaining defenses. Still a golemite up doing a little bit of tanking. Uh, but those skellies are doing a majority of the work on these defenses and these single target buildings. And you can see right there all the defenses are down. Queen is still over half health. And all those skeletons running around taking care of the three star and finishing off those extra buildings. So a really nice job there, Nico, and a good army strategy as well as good uh, spell composition, realizing the fact that there just wasn't a whole lot of walls there to stop anything. Next, we're going to look at Slacker's attack on number six base here. And again, this is going to be a pretty much a straight go wee wee. Uh, what I do like or at least find interesting here is the spell combination that is brought. And that is a double jump. And the idea is it's going to jump into the core here. And the second jump is to jump out of the core. And so he's got an entrance and an exit plan. And uh, you may have heard me before uh, talk about that a little bit. Um, not always my favorite. It's probably not my favorite on this one either, but I do like the idea that he's got a plan to get into the core and out of the core with his spells and rage and heal in the core to take out those defenses, heroes, and town hall. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this attack. Again, you can see the army comp pretty much straight go wee wee. Uh, stoned, I believe he's going to have three golem, one in the clan castle, single hog there to get the lure. And you see he's got two poison spells. Um, if he's going to use two poison spells to take the clan castle out, and we'll find out here in just a bit, uh, there's no sense in dragging him to the corner because you're actually pulling the dragon away from the loons. And so he's wasting a lot of time here clumping them together if he's going to just double poison them. Mm -hmm. And we'll see that in just a second if that's actually the case. Um, nope, he's going to go ahead and back end him with uh, Wizard, so that works out fine. Um, poison spells must be for ground skellies at that point. Um, but goes ahead and uses the back end witches, wizards to take out the clan castle loons. As the golem's going in, tanking for the kill squad there, stone golem. Wall breakers come in and get into that top compartment. Everything's going to redirect and funnel right to the middle where he's going to have a jump spell shortly waiting to access the core as well as get into that expo. Jump spell is going to go down right there. 
and we'll go ahead and speed that up a little bit. You see the golem split and spread around the base, which is what the design is, is designed to do, but the skellies and the kill squad go to the core, which is perfect because the DPS is all in there. The defenses are all focused on the golems running around the outside, while the witches and the wizards can go ahead and just take out the interior buildings. So he has the jump spell to exit. Unfortunately, he didn't have any troops left in the core to exit. Uh, four Teslas and four giant bombs took care of that. But as you can see, still not a terrible idea. BK is actually going to go ahead and jump in there and use that to help take out that expo. Then he jumps back out, and so it did save him a little bit of time as far as dealing with that building. And Queen is still at pretty much full health, has not used her ability yet. He's going to go ahead and take out that last cannon, pop the royal cloak, and the wizards take care of the last gold mine. So again, uh, jump spell, really effective? No, but it was a good idea in my opinion as far as uh, being able to get out of the core to make sure that if your golems had jumped in there that they weren't going to get stuck, they would have been able to get out in a hurry. So I do like that spell combination in this instance. Really nice job there by Slacker. Next attack moving down to Town Hall 8 is going to be uh, DVS Hunter going against this number 10 base and he's going to bring a kind of a unique or less used army composition which is a Govaho and I do love that decision on this base and I'll show you why and why he decided to use it I'm sure as he was looking at this uh, Govaho or using Valks in general what you're looking for is these wide open cores uh, you don't want them being stuck on walls. Which, what Valks, the power of Valks is, is that they like to do damage to multiple buildings at once and get between them. Uh, they're also great for taking out enemy BKs, uh, enemy heroes, and ground clan castle troops. And so they're going to get into the middle there, and they're not going to have anything in their way, uh, and they're going to be able to do a lot of damage there. And while they're in there, while the kill squad is in the core, all these other defenses are going to be firing in at them. And so they're going to all be distracted, and at that point he can just bring in Surgical Hogs and go ahead and snipe those outer defenses. So let's go ahead and see what this Go Vaho looks like. See the army comp down there, 17 Hogs, 8 Wizards. Uh, he's going to bring one Golem and Clan Castle Valks as well as five of his own. Does get the lure there, very important that he gets the lure, and he goes ahead and uses the double poison to take all the troops out. Because remember, Valks are obviously in hogs and golems and everything. That's a lot of just ground-only targeting troops. And so he doesn't have a lot of DPS uh, as far as being able to take out air troops. So he uses the poison spell to get that taken care of. Moving up to the top, he goes ahead and drops his golem on the top cannon there. He's just distracting all the defenses up there while the wizards go ahead and take out those few defenses followed by the wall breakers to break in valks of course are looking for any opportunity to get between buildings which they find in the core they like that they get in there under heal spells and the hogs come in just like we said and they snipe from the outside more heal spells waiting in the core for hogs and valks and everything is taken down quickly bk is tanking on the outside for that last cannon golem did not even bust there's still a valk up uh, maybe two bunch of hogs and some wizards to clean up and so really nice job recognizing a uh, pretty weak base but especially uh, weak toward in that core for a govaho attack could have used loons to snipe or hogs doesn't really matter could have been a govalo as well but really nice job recognizing uh, a good attack strategy for that base Last but not least, uh, attack on number 15 base, Town Hall 8 by Clash with Aiden. New addition to the clan. This might be his first war, first or second war. I believe it's the first time on the war recap anyway. And uh, he's just going to bring a Go Weho attack. And absolutely love the decision to go with the Go Weho. You see these typical uh, Town Hall 8 bases that we tend to see with these compartments here, 2 by four two by six compartments it looks like i guess um, typically when we see that you're looking at you know tesla giant bomb combo type thing tesla giant bomb combo tesla giant bomb combo uh, there's three out of four of those are going to contain something like that more often than not and so what we're going to see him do is just bring a uh, test hog in here that's going to go ahead and trip that compartment and see what's in there as well as accomplish a clan castle lure uh, drag him up to the top and anchor uh, with a single tier one troop 
and then go ahead and drop his shattered golem uh, go we approach to the north of the base to take out those top two compartments as well as the enemy bk go ahead and back ending with the hogs and once he does that he will have handled three of the compartments he will have handled this one with the lure these two with the golems and then all he'll have to worry about is this third one which he does with a pre-heal all right we'll go ahead and see how this all shakes out here again watch on the bottom there single hog goes in trips the tesla and giant bomb down there gets the clan castle lure accomplished does anchor up at the top with a barb couple archers followed by some wizards and the poison spells will go ahead and take down the clan castle troops really quickly shattered golem approach there followed by the whiz funnel and goes ahead and trips those other two Teslas and one giant bomb. So he knows now that there is one giant bomb remaining and that is going to be in that southwest compartment there. As soon as his kill squad gets into the base, he's going to pre-heal that last little bit there. There's that third giant bomb. Uh, hogs are fully healed back up because of the pre-heal. And th two more heal spells waiting for them as they approach those remaining defenses on the left side of the base. Mortar can't do anything once they get close enough. And... All the defenses are down, ton of hogs left, just a handful of wizards left for cleanup, but the hogs are going to do the majority of the work on this raid and take care of the rest of that base. So really nice job there with the plan uh, to just uh, defuse all of those trap locations on those outside areas. That'll do it for this war recap. Again, really nice job to everyone who participated in this war. This is the All Father. We'll see you next time.